there's a saying every legend has its first day 29th of October 2003 was the first day that Call of Duty was released developed by Infinity Ward and published by Activision it made a revolution in the first person shooter community that's when it all started September 2004 they also released an expansion pack Call of Duty United Offensive which is also a continuation of Call of Duty 1 absolutely amazing well in 2005 the awaited Call of Duty 2 was released trust me or not it sold over 250,000 Xbox 360 version copies in its first week this was also developed by Infinity Ward and published by Activision well Treyarch decided that they also want to get entered in the Call of Duty franchise they made their first game Call of Duty 3 which was released in 2006 uh, well most of you guys might argue that Call of Duty 3 was not the first game that Treyarch developed Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 was the first game that Treyarch developed Big Red 1 actually had something about an allied something about an alliance between the first infantry division in the US Army named Big Red 1 but I don't know about that all I know is this was the main game that Treyarch released in the Call of Duty franchise, their first game. Then it started one of my most favorite games in the whole Call of Duty franchise. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was released in 2007. Developed by Infinity Ward, they did a beautiful job creating this game. And guess what? It was released on both the consoles and also on Microsoft Windows. Then came the introduction to Call of Duty Zombies. Treyarch released Call of Duty World at War which introduced us to Call of Duty Zombies which no one had been introduced to before. It was a wonderful experience. World at War was overall an amazing game, the campaign, the multiplayer, the zombies, the classics. The continuation to the Modern Warfare series by Infinity Ward, Modern Warfare 2 was released on November 10th of 2009. All they did was have the same basic mechanics as Modern Warfare, adding a touch of amazement by Infinity Ward. Then, my favorite series. Treyarch released Call of Duty Black Ops 1 on November 9th of 2010. Well, I was in love with the campaign. I was in love with the zombies. I don't know about the multiplayer. I didn't play multiplayer much in this game. One of my favorite characters in the whole Call of Duty franchise was featured in this game Frank Woods and I think Victor Reznov well, those two guys were amazing dude I was seriously so satisfied by playing the Wakuta prison mission in the campaign that was my favorite mission actually yeah that was my favorite mission from every Call of Duty campaign that has ever been released next up Modern Warfare 3 the final installment in the Modern Warfare series was released in November 2011 well, Infinity Ward had a partnership with Sledgehammer and Raven to make it much much better and it worked dude. I loved this game, I loved the mechanics of this game, I loved everything about this game, the campaign, the multiplayer. Next up, my favorite game. Yeah, this was my favorite game in all of the video games ever released in the whole world. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Treyarch, I salute you dude. I salute you, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for giving me this game. Thank you so much for giving the whole community this wonderful game. Black Ops 2, which was released on November 13th of 2012. Well, at that time, me and my brother didn't have a PS3 to play on, so we actually went to a gaming parlor once a week to play this absolutely beautiful game released by Treyarch. Call of Duty Ghost was released on November 5th of 2013 uh, well this is one of my least favorite games I don't know about you guys you guys might like it you guys might not but for me this was a, this was one of the least favorite games in the whole Call of Duty franchise I don't know I just didn't enjoy playing this game Infinity Ward I think they fell a little down as compared to the Modern Warfare series they really fell down Sledgehammer Games decided that they want the fun as well so they decided to jump into Call of Duty franchise with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This did include some futuristic shit like boost jumping, sliding, boost sliding, I don't even know. 
Well, this game also featured the Exo Zombies mode in which we actually literally jump over the zombies to kill those guys. And that's what I did. This game was originally released in the new gen consoles, but High Moon Studios did a really good job releasing it on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 as well. This game was released on November 4th of 2014. Then we lead to one of the most amazing, one of the most awaited games in the Call of Duty franchise. Released by Treyarch, this was the 12th entry of the Call of Duty series, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 UBUT. Released on November 6th of 2015. It was released on a new gen console, but the shitty version was also released in the old gen console. The older gen Black Ops 3 that had the worst graphics. It was worse than Call of Duty 1 dude. That's how that's how bad the graphics were. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> Yeah, I did I did play that for a month or two on the older gen. Black Ops 3 on the older gen dude. That was an awful experience. Trust me. You do not want to do that. Well, for fun, you might do that. You might even not find any lobbies right now, but for fun, you might do that. Uh, next up, my least favorite game in the whole Call of Duty franchise. Of our planet were great Infinite Warfare. Hey there. So we sent Should I kick you right now? I don't know. I did a mistake buying you. I did a mistake pre-ordering Infinite Warfare. Uh, now, I know I might be a little rude right now, but... Infinity Ward, what has happened to you, dude? Why are you not creating amazing games like you did before? Why are you creating shitty futuristic games like Infinite Warfare? Come on, dude. Please. Hopefully, these guys get a better game next time they release a Call of Duty. Well, nevertheless, Infinite Warfare was released on November 4th of 2016. Sledgehammer Games did what the whole community wanted. They released a Boots Underground game. Thank you, Sledgehammer. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But unfortunately, this game was broken. Released on November 3rd, it had broken servers, it had broken weapons, it had some broken glitches that were so OP that they could get you a double nuclear from nowhere. They still are. There are some glitches on the point two Hawk. I think there is a glitch that can get you a nuclear like it's nothing. But I do like one thing very much, that Sledgehammer Games brought back the old Call of Duty days. Brought back the Boots on the Ground experience. Thank you for that. I'm really excited for what Treyarch gives us next time. They said it's gonna be a Boots on the Ground game as well. So I'm really, really excited from what they did in Black Ops 2. That's gonna be all for the video. If you guys wanna see any more of these videos, well, videos like this, just go down in the comment section and comment what video you would like to see and I will try my best to make that video. Also, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy the video. It just makes my day, dude. One like and one subscription, it makes my day. So that's gonna be it. I'll meet you in the next video. Trace, out. Peace.